is John Cleary from New Orleans, Louisiana. And you're listening to UK Bob. The Good Morning Blues. Hold on to me, brother Hold on to me, sister Hold on to each other And all pull together Hold on, brother Hold on, sister Hold on to the loving Hold on to the king Hold on to the joy that only comes from the gift of sharing Hold on, brother Hold on, sister Hold on, brother Hold on, sister No one said it was easy We're gonna have to try Change our way of living, let the bygones go on by No one said tomorrow, it's got to be today Compromise of truth or stood by waiting On the road to a better way Hold on brother, hold on sister Hold on brother For the brother and sisterhood of man Hold on, brother Hold on, sister Hold on, Hey, mama, mama Me and the blues again Mama, mama it's just me and the blues again Mr. Blues been around me so long He's more family than friend Mama, mama Ain't this a strange time of night Mama, mama Ain't this a strange time of night One cool vibe won't kill his job But it's so cold in here the bed bugs don't bite Mama, mama, here I go, here I go one more time Mama, mama, here I go one more time I'm giving up in high-stepping fillies, bootleg whiskey and wine Mama, mama Thank you. 
you please give me one more chance? Mm, mama, mama, please, just please give me one more chance. Cause I'm sure if you did.
to the fabulous Tam White in all his glory, the King of Edinburgh Blues. I'm celebrating his birthday. He would have been 79. Unfortunately, he died 11 years ago. He just got himself back into fitness and going to the gym and he went for a swim. He came home and he sat on the couch and had a heart attack. It's like, come on, you know. Anyway, um... Moving on to something lighter, I did trip over this from the 2012 Olympics. Uh, before I find you some new music and we go into the rare Blues Breakers medley, I've got a couple more to throw in, but maybe we need a giggle now after the somber reality of losing people, which is just happening way too often these days. And now for a Public Affairs Bulletin Board announcement. The Housing Justice League fights for renters and homeowners in Georgia for housing justice. If you are facing eviction, unfair fees, or bad living conditions, you are not alone. For information about your rights, the Tenant Power Hotline at 404-946-9953. For information about your rights and support to build power to fight back. To learn more about the Housing Justice League, or to sign up to volunteer, the hotline at 404-946-9953, or the website, housingjusticeleague.org. That's housing justice L-E-A-G-U-E dot O-R-G. Public Affairs Bulletin Board announcement from your station for progressive information and hand-picked quality music. WRFG 89.3 FM, WRFG dot O-R-G. Two pieces, two pieces back to back. The album is called Black on Blues and it's a compilation of uh, amazing list of artists. The last two was a duet there between uh, Mike Zito on guitar and Cyril Neville. Uh, but the opener was Walter Trout doing uh, Tighten Up. And that one, the girl is on my mind. And um, you've got a huge long list of people playing on this. You've got Larry McCrary, Leslie West, Tab Benoit, Pat Travers, who's got a brand new album out. Uh, Devin Allman. But the one that I started playing, I guess, a couple of weeks ago was Ginger Baker and Iggy Pop doing Lonely Boy. That was about, well, it was about a month ago I got an advanced couple of tracks on that. But uh, a very cool idea, although I don't necessarily agree that, uh, that the Black Keys are a blues album. I think it was actually a, uh, a good idea to take the songs that everybody else maybe heard as bluesy and just make them really more in that vein. Anyway, nice job, everybody. Don't call me honey, right? I told you. You'll get a slap. Call me honey, I'll slug you. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> it happens to all the best girls. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So who's enjoying the Olympics? Um, now you've all got a crazy idea of what London is. It's, it seems to have opened up the doors. It's like I know that many of you have this very strange perception and you've all seen pictures of London and you've watched movies and stuff, but I think seeing it 
on on the the television channels close up the fact that you can be in Hampton Court Palace and start a cycling race it's just the closeness of everything if anybody saw the the Box Hill to Buckingham Palace bike race I think it was Friday or Saturday see I used to live there so I would cycle around Box Hill that was like near Guildford and that was home um, but you see the roads are so narrow and tight and the trees lean over and the people lean out it's far more accessible than I think a lot of other places. But there again, that's the way things are. I lived in Windsor uh, for about a year and a half. I don't think nothing of it. Royalty come and go and you just you know, gracefully give them a wave if you want. We don't get in their face. It's just pff, wouldn't be polite. Whereas here, I think people just go nuts, you know, if, if somebody, if a famous celebrity is around. But, um, but anyway, the thing that's really bugging me is these stupid commentators. And, and I will specify there's a difference. This comes up a lot in sports. We have announcers, you have commentators. And you say, well, Bob, it's the same bloody thing. No, it isn't. That's like people used to laugh at me when I'd say, um, excuse me, can you tell me the way to the lift, please? And they go, <laughs> He called it a lift. <laughs> Goes down too, you know. <laughs> I said, oh, really? What does elevate mean? Yeah, smart-ass yanks. Clicking on the Englishman. Anyway, a lot of words are suddenly being discovered. It's like there's this whole new dictionary. Oh, spot on. But because you don't know how to say it. You don't know how to deliver it. You don't really know what the application is. They're just repeating things ad nauseum. And it's, I must admit, I do love the mute control on my remote. Uh, uh, you know, can you see it? The, the guy what's his, on ABC. Well, and here's the weather in your neck of the woods. Oh, come on. Is, is, how much longer are you going to hang on to stupid remarks like that? So they're all bouncing around being jolly. Chesley, I think, is the funniest. It's like, whoa, it's like, you know, Disneyland. But anyway, Nessa, I know, I know. No, okay, I'll, I'll stop now. But anyway, the Olympics are, are good and fun, and England got two golds yesterday, so uh, we might not have 23, but we're there and we're playing along. Uh, if anybody ever saw a British program called It's a Knockout, then go find on YouTube or a DVD a copy of It's a Royal Knockout. This is like not Olympics, but a bunch of ridiculous fun games um, that used to be on a TV show. And uh, the royal family used to watch it, and somebody found out that they really like it. So they were invited to participate, and they did. So you have members of the royalty playing very hilarious, kind of crazy games uh, on a lawn in front of an audience. Yes, some palace, somewhere or other. Yeah. Ah. Back to the music. What was I going to put? Ah, ah, yes. There is uh, an announcement. Sorry. Make your plans now to join WRFG's Good Morning Blues crew on Monday. Ha, <laughs> so 10 years ago. Um, while we're in a humorous mood, which is always good for the soul, um, you, uh, most of you know that my beloved is a cab high school teacher, so... She has been through 18 months of like massive drama day and night teaching this year, both in person as well as Zoom, 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 which in itself created you know, a lot of extra work. So I thought, well, I'm going to try and deflect all the, some of the stupid questions that come up and mask, no mask, you know, how many vaccines do I have to have? Do I have to stand on my head and wiggle my ears? Um, it's it's nuts, some of the things that she has to field. So I created something for the answering machine for DeKalb County Schools in the hope that they might employ it, okay? But you never know. Remember, it's just a joke. Hello, you have reached the automated answering service of your school. In order to assist you in connecting to the right staff member, please listen to all the options before making a selection. To lie about why your child is absent, press 1. To make excuses for why your child did not do his homework, press 2. To complain about what we do, press 3. To swear at staff members, press 4. To ask why you didn't get information that has already been enclosed in your newsletter and several flyers that have been mailed to you, press 5. If you want us to raise your child, press 6. 
If you want to reach out and touch, slap, or hit someone, press 7. To request another teacher for the third time this year, press 8. To complain about bus transportation, press 9. To complain about school lunches, press 0. If you realize this is the real world and your child must be accountable and responsible for his or her own behavior, classwork, and homework, and that it's not the teacher's fault for your child's lack of effort, hang up and have a nice day. If you want this in another language, move to a country that speaks it. Thank you for your interest in public education. What was that? A flat, I believe. A little sharp, though. I don't want nobody to give me nothing. Just open up the door. I'll get it myself. Myself, 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 myself. Just keep saying it. 
A couple of pieces there from the great Phil Upchurch, who is 80 today. Tremendous uh, bluesy, jazzy guitar player. And uh, he's done a lot of stuff. He mostly plays behind people, but um, has put out a limited amount of his own stuff. I picked two tracks from a 30-year-old album called Whatever Happened to the Blues? You should see the people that jumped up to play with him. Lenny Castro on percussion, Ricky Peterson. Uh, who else? Let me scroll down. Uh, you heard the staple singers, yes. Pops and Mavis included. Um, Gavin Christopher's that does Angel Eyes. Didn't play that one. Arthur Adams adds vocals to Love and Peace. Oscar Brown Jr. Uh, so many people. I'm just trying to flick through. the. Oh, Clyde Stubblefield shows up. Pee Wee Ellis, Fred Wesley, Rosie Gaines. Um, yeah, big lineup. Ben Sidron on piano. Wow. Um, just uh, commands some great people. And so you heard a couple of pieces of that to celebrate his birthday. We're going to finish up with that uh, medley of passages I created uh, from 1967 of the rarest of rarest bands that were only together for 10 weeks as John Mayall and the Blues Breakers. But with that incredible lineup described way back in the beginning, somewhere under uh, the first few minutes, I think it was. So um, that'll be that. Hey, everybody, Until it's 89 week. Volt. It's 89 Volt, man. And you're listening to WRFG Atlanta, Good Morning Blues with UK Bob. London to Louisiana. Dude plays the best music, man. Tune in, drop out. Oh, like a sense of
Bulletin Board. On July 24 and 25, the Arts Exchange, along with their community partners, will host Reimagined Democracy, an art and justice festival. The lineup includes an artist's market, the exhibit Whose America Is It Anyway, the jazz sounds of the Ojuda Pen Experience, reggae and gospel concerts, performances, classes, social justice trainings, and workshops on voter engagement. The Arts Exchange is at 2148 Noonan Street in East Point, within walking distance of the Fort MacPherson Martyr Station. For more information, our website is artsexchange.org. The Public Affairs Bulletin Board announcement brought to you by your station for progressive information and hand-picked quality music. WRFG 89.3 FM, WRFG.org. Greetings, family. This is Ross Kofi, the farmer, and I'll be playing Roots Rock Reggae music with my band at the Arts Exchange on July 24th as part of the Reimagined Democracy Art and Justice Festival. There'll be music, performances, poets, wellness and family justice workshop, voter registration, and more. July 24th and 25th, noon to 9 p.m. both days at the Arts Exchange in East Point, Georgia. 404-624-4211 for more information or www.artsexchange.org that's A-R-T-S-X C-H-A-N-G-E dot org
Thank <laughs> you.